Hey guys, Ashok here. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can set up the Enderall Special Edition for VR very quickly and easily using a tool called Wabajack. If you're not familiar with Enderall, it is arguably one of the most ambitious total conversions for Skyrim. I'd also like to thank the modding team who just recently ported Enderall to the Skyrim Special Edition. And I'd also like to thank a very talented modder named Sasa2727, who created the Enderall VR mod, as without any of their hard work, nothing in this guide would ever be possible. So before we get started, I, I'd like to go over the basics and everything that you need to get Enderall running in VR. And the answer is very simple. The only thing you need is Skyrim VR. Now you might be wondering, wouldn't it make more sense to simply purchase the Enderall Special Edition that's on Steam and then use the VR mod to launch the game in your VR headset? And the answer is no. The Enderall Special Edition on Steam is a 2D game only and there is no possible way to add VR to the game. However, it is possible to mod Skyrim VR with the Enderall Special Edition files using a program called Mod Organizer 2. Once you do this, starting Skyrim VR will launch the Enderall campaign, which can then be played from start to finish in VR. Now, I'd also like to note that you do not need Wabajack to get Enderall up and running in VR. You might be wondering, well, what exactly is Wabajack and why would we even consider using it if it's not required for the setup process? So there are two different ways that you can mod Skyrim VR to play Enderall. The first method is to manually download Mod Organizer 2 yourself from nexusmods.com, after which you're going to have to download hundreds of different mods manually to set up Mod Organizer 2 to launch Enderall properly. And setting up Mod Organizer 2 manually is a bit of a time-consuming process, and if you've never dealt with using Mod Organizer 2 before, it does have a little bit of a learning curve to it. So that's where Wabajack comes in. Wabajack allows you to download a copy of Mod Organizer 2 directly to your computer, and it will be pre-configured for Enderall VR. This allows you to jump right into the game with just a handful of clicks. The only downside with using Wabajack is that it does require a premium account at nexusmods.com, the cheapest way to jump into the game with Wabajack is to sign up at nexusmods.com for one month, which I believe is around $5 a month, after which you install the game, you could cancel your subscription. Uh, but again, if you don't want to subscribe at nexusmods.com, check my YouTube channel. I have another video where I show you how you can set up Mod Organizer 2 manually. But for those of you who already have a Nexus Premium account, or if you would like to sign up for a premium account for this guide, we'll go ahead and get started. Now in this guide, I'm going to show you how to set up everything from a clean install. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to Steam and install a clean copy of Skyrim VR. And you're going to want to make sure when you install the game that you are installing the VR edition. And note that you do want to make sure you are installing a clean copy of the game. If you don't start with a clean copy of Skyrim, and if you have the game pre-installed with a bunch of other mods, there's a good chance that Enderall is not going to work properly for you. And all right, we'll let this go ahead and download. This might take a little while based on your internet connection. And all right, once Skyrim VR is done installing, you're going to want to go ahead and launch the game one time. This is just going to ensure that certain configuration files are generated, which we need, uh, as without them, we may run into some trouble later on down the line.
All right, once you're in game, you can actually go ahead and just quit the game. You don't have to go through the actual setup process. We just need to launch the game uh, to make sure that certain INI files are created in your My Documents folder. All right, once that's done, the next thing you're going to want to do is navigate to steampowered.com. And you want to make sure that the Enderall Special Edition is part of your Steam library. The game is a free download. You do not need to actually install the Enderall Forgotten Story Special Edition to your computer. You only have to make sure that it is added to your Steam library. And once that's done, you want to navigate to nexusmods.com. And you want to go ahead and log in with a premium account. All right, so once you own the Enderall Forgotten Story Special Edition in Skyrim VR and you have a clean copy of Skyrim VR installed, we are now ready to go ahead and install Wabajack. So you want to go to wabajack.org. You're going to download the Wabajack executable file. And you can install Wabajack by running this file from any folder of your choice. I'm going to go ahead and create a new Wabajack folder in my games folder, but you can put this anywhere that you want on your computer. Then you're going to go ahead and run the file, and it will install Wabajack. Next, you want to create a blank folder on your computer, anywhere that you choose, where we will be installing Mod Organizer 2, pre-configured for Enderall VR. I've already gone ahead and I've created a folder on my computer called Enderall VR, but you can create any folder on your computer anywhere that you choose. Once that's done, you're going to go to github.com slash Ashok0. You want to select Enderall VR Essentials, and then select Releases, and you're going to click Assets, and you want to download this file here, Enderall VR Essentials.wabajack. I also have a direct link to this file in the video description below. All right, and once this file is done downloading, you can simply double click this Wabajack file. You want to make sure that the install location is set to whichever folder you created, where we're going to be actually installing Mod Organizer 2 configured for Enderall VR. In my case, again, I'm going to be using this folder here that I made called Enderall VR and you can go ahead and click run and it will configure the game for you with a single click now this could take several hours it will actually install very quickly on my setup as i already have all of the uh, enderall files on my computer uh, but this will probably take quite a bit of time for you depending on your internet connection. All right, now once Swapajack is done installing Mod Organizer 2, there is still one thing you have to do before you can actually play the game. You need to select Install 
folder. You're going to navigate to Game Folder Files. You need to select all the files in this folder, right click and hit Copy, and you need to paste these in your Skyrim installation folder, which is typically going to be in C, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim VR. And you're just going to paste these files here. What we've just done is installed a handful of mods to our Skyrim VR installation folder, as they are required to be installed here. However, most of our mods will be installed to a separate game folder, which we just set up with Wabajack. As a general rule, you always want to install your mods to a folder outside of your Skyrim installation path, as installing all your mods directly to your Skyrim folder uh, is typically going to actually break the game. So once we've done this, you can go back to our game folder that we set up with Wabajack. In my case, it is in my games Ender All VR folder, and you'll see that we have a mod organizer.exe file. We're going to go ahead and run this. And as you can see, we now have mod organizer 2 installed and it is pre-configured with all of the mods that we need to play Enderall in VR. So it is pre-configured with the base mods that are actually the only required mods for playing Enderall VR. I have also included Skyrim Special Edition mods that I have personally tested myself and have found to work perfectly fine in Enderall. I have also included an assortment of mods that are specific to the Enderall Special Edition, which also work in VR. And I have also included some dynamic patches, which do some really cool things, such as adding flinching animations to non-player characters. Uh, these patches add shimmering effects to water, and they also increase the level of detail uh, at a distance in the game, which really adds to the immersion. Now, I am not going to go through every single mod that I included in this Wabajack mod list, but if you check my README file, which is linked in the video description below, I have a list of all of the included mods in this Wabajack release, along with detailed descriptions of what every mod does. I have also included download links for all of these mods, should you choose to not use my Wabajack release, if you would like to go ahead and download and set up everything manually. I have also pre-configured INI settings for the game in this Wabajack release. You can see the INI settings from Tools, Tool Plugins, INI Editor. Again, if you're using my Wabajack release, you really don't need to worry about these settings. However, if you wish to set everything up manually without using Wabajack, I have also included my INI settings in my README file, which again, you can find in the video description below. Now, I would like to go through just a handful of mods that you will need to be aware of, as they're optional but important based off of your personal VR configuration. If you have a Valve Index, you absolutely need to enable this VRIK, Rift Index WMR Controller Bindings mod. If you're using Oculus Touch Controllers, I find that you really don't need these bindings, but they are required if you're using Knuckles controllers. Another optional mod that I would like to highlight is the High Poly Project mod. This mod is not compatible with Enderall VR out of the box. If you were to install this directly from nexusmods.com, it will create purple textures in the game. I did a lot of testing with this mod and I believe I was able to remove all of the textures and meshes that are not Enderall VR compatible, so it should work correctly. It's a really, really great mod once it's working as it adds a lot of polygons to the geometry in the game, and it really makes the game look a lot better. Now, I have not had time to do testing with this mod throughout the entire campaign, so I can't guarantee it won't cause any graphical glitches with purple textures in certain environments, so I went ahead and disabled it by default, but if you would like to experiment with using the High Poly Project mod, 
you can simply enable it by uh, ticking the box here to the left. Another mod that I would like to point out is the equipable tattoo skins, UNP plus CBBE. And what this mod does is it's just kind of an optional fun little mod that allows you to equip tattoos to your character in game. It's only compatible with female characters. However, it will actually cause problems if you have a male avatar. So I would not advise enabling this unless you're planning on rolling a female character. It is completely VR compatible. If you apply tattoos to your body using this mod, you can see the tattoos directly on your VR IK avatar in VR. And one final mod that I would like to point out is the replace spiders with wolves and bears mod, which does exactly as described in the name. If you have arachnophobia like me, I would highly advise enabling this mod. Again, you can enable mods by ticking the box to the left. And that's pretty much it, guys. We're now ready to go ahead and jump in game. So to launch Enderall VR, all you have to do is make sure that SKSE is selected in this upper right-hand drop-down bar. Then go ahead and click Run. All right, guys, we have now successfully launched Enderall in VR using Wabajack. 